the story of the Milele Zanzibar Foundation is still very inspiring to me. It was all about a group of individuals who had very strong links to Zanzibar. And that's why in February of 2014, we created the, the Milele Zanzibar Foundation. And during that phase, we spent a lot of time trying to figure out how we could help and where we would be most effective and with what partners we could do our work because we knew we would never achieve anything strong and impactful by ourselves. And through that exercise, we identified the key areas that we wanted to help. Education, health, and livelihoods. In our livelihood sector, we work primarily focusing on women and youth. We help to form village and savings and loans associations, which are small groups of women between 10 to 20 to 30 who come together and help one another save. They learn to make different projects, different products. They sew bags, they make soap, they farm. They do a number of different activities to increase their uh, income opportunities. Uh, this could be through farming, horticultural farming. We also do it through seaweed. We bring together seaweed farmers from all around the country, both in Guja and Pemba, and give them opportunities to share their challenges, and then also training uh, to improve, add value to the seaweed product inspired other young people to believe that they can actually learn about agriculture, work in agriculture, and succeed in agriculture. Milele Zanzibar Foundation plays an important part because we hire locally. We have young adults who, like I said previously, were not employed, did not go for informal education, and we have made them valuable members of our community. We, most importantly, have worked to empower young people, especially in secondary and tertiary, to believe in themselves, to have confidence, to know that they can make a difference. We also have a program called Champions in Health, where we sponsor students who are in uh, the School of Health Sciences, who live in difficult environments and have difficulty paying for their tuition. We sponsor them, but we also give them opportunities to volunteer in rural areas and to see the challenges that many people are facing and to come up with solutions. I want to thank uh, Milele Foundation for giving us support. We thank you very much for Milele Foundation wa kuaboresha huduma za mama na watoto kwa misaada mbalimbali kama vile vifaa vya kuzalia, vifaa vya madawa, vifaa vya kutibia. Kwa hiyo tunashukuru sana sana sana. Tumefanikiwa kujenga shule saba ambazo kiujumla zina madarasa 45 na wanafunzi 1400 wameweza kufaidika kupitia mradi huu. We aim to bring about quality education to help children, especially in rural areas, access schools that are clean, that have enough desks, that have enough space, that have clean water, uh, that have toilets. Kabla ya kuja Milele Foundation, tulikuwa watoto wana tabu sana ya kusoma. Mwenye likuwa kisoma chini, amuna saruji. Mpakadua pia tunawambia kila wakati ala wajalie waendele zaidi na zaidi. Well, Milele uh, supported us in uh, three projects and uh, we are really grateful for their support. Uh, actually, it uh, enabled uh, to, help, uh, to help girls, especially girls, to go to school. Uh, to, uh, we are paying them bursary. We are very grateful to work with Milele because they have helped us to reach around 6,000 women in Nguja and Pemba, and we gave them trainings and uh, equipment. We love the way of their flexibility and accessibility. And now we're just starting the next three years of Milele Zanzibar Foundation. And this is the time where we ask you to join us. Join us in accelerating progress in Zanzibar, in helping those who need support 
and need the hope of a better future. Thank you.